Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime edition. Um, we're going to be doing something kind of fun and very different for me today, <laughs> tonight. Um, I've been watching several artists on YouTube, Rince Kaduna, Canela, um, Molly. Molly did this amazing Dutch four thing the other day that was just amazing. And I saw Jeremy Massey do one, which was, and Sarah did one. There's just so many people have been doing Dutch fours and I've never really done one. Well, I had one attempt when I first started and it ended with paint splattered all over a wall. <laughs> so I haven't done one since then, but I have this canvas that is a 36 by 48 and it's not gallery wrapped. It's fairly thin, but it's three quarter inch or half inch. So it's not really suitable for pouring like I usually do with thick paint because it would sag. And um, so we're gonna attempt to do some sort of Dutch pour. Now I ran into a spot of trouble with my blow dryer it was not cooperating or working. So we're gonna maybe <laughs> use the straw. Going old school. <laughs> well, I was telling HOA what I wanted to do and he said that he might have a solution for me. So we'll see what that is. I'm gonna show you my colors first though and then I'm gonna put down a base coat and then we'll see what happens, okay? So the first one, and all of these are actually leftovers except for this one from other pores and I have just thinned it down with Floetrol and a lot of water. So this is my Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And it's not, well, this one is still slightly leaving a mound, isn't it? But that's much, much thinner than I'm usually used to. <laughs> so that's the 24 karat gold. This one is what's left of my permanent deep violet or permanent violet dark. And I see sparkles in there, which means that this has iridescent medium in it at some point too but much thinner than I usually pour with. So I'm just hoping. <laughs> this one is Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue. And this one is not leaving a mound very much. It is just, well, there, you know, <laughs> sinking. So I'll tell you about that one in a second. This one is Golden's Payne's Gray. Lots of Floetrol and water in here. Might be slightly sparkly. I don't know, we'll see. Um, this one is Golden's Iridescent Pearl, super thin. Okay, so this one started out as Blick Acrylic, that economy acrylic paint, economy acrylic emulsifier, I think it's called. And when I look at the bottle, it looks like this color, but then when I mixed it up, it was this very weird kind of pale I don't know. I didn't like it very much. So then I took some dioxazine purple and I squirted it in there and then it started to look like dioxazine purple. So this is Blick Acrylic with some Liquitex Basics dioxazine purple. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. I have two big tubs of the Blick Acrylic white that I'm going to put down as a base coat first. And then we're going to see what happens. Okay. This is the base coat. Thinking. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. So we're going to lay some color down on here. I'm going to start with some of this Dioxazine Purple and we're going to kind of, I don't know, I'm just going to lay it down in places. Ooh, that was a cool bubble. Some of our phthalo blue. Mm -hmm. 
Molly did this. It was so cool. I was like, wow. But she didn't lay down a base coat, so. All right, we're gonna come in with some of our magenta now. Or not magenta. <laughs> Got magenta on the brain. Oh my gosh. What is this one? Permanent violet dark. There we go. Pain's gray. Ooh, that's all right, we're gonna put some more color on top of it. Okay, I have some white here, some pearl. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in too. Nothing else, this was fun. So, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> you said you had something else I could try. What is it? Well, what I would do is this. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a little big for me, sweetie. Let me try. Uh, <laughs> maybe All right, not. well, maybe this is more realistic. I, I got this thing on my keychain. Uh, you're so funny. This one was mine. <laughs> my little Makita leaf blower. Okay, so we're going to do this. HOA has actually put up plastic sheeting, <laughs> kind of reminding me of the splash zone. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? As ready as I'll ever be, doll. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm glad you put up that plastic. There's a lot of paint on here. Go this way now. That's really trippy, my gosh. I'm gonna turn it around. That's amazing though. Wow, look at all those cells. Okay, let me turn it around. Wow. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I am honestly blown away. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> that was purely accidental, but funny. That's like dad material. Uh, you're the king of the dad jokes, babe. Our children think he's very funny. I wonder what would happen. Oh, did I just get paint all over my nose? No. I wonder what would happen if we just tilted it downward. I'm to find out. 
because there's a lot of paint on here. We're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna walk it down. All right, we're gonna blow it out a little bit more. So one thing Molly was saying that was super helpful was, don't go over it again and again and again because you'll get mud the more you blow it out. So maybe once, twice, maximum. Okay, let's start over here. Like those lines, or is it weird? I don't like them very much. You don't. It looks too regular. Yeah. Now let's just tilt things this way a little bit. See, there's still too much paint on here. Down. I really like those though. I really don't want to leave a lot of paint on here because it's a very thin canvas and I don't want it to crack, which is why I'm tilting off a lot. to take the Dutch pour and make it you by tilting the daylights out of it. <laughs> Let me call it a gardener's pour. <laughs> Leaf floor. This side is really neat. I'm loving this edge up there. And I really like this side too. This is beautiful right there. And I've created magenta again. It's okay. Mina's Bane. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you know what? It's okay. I, I'm embracing it. Embracing my inner magenta. There we go. <laughs> See if we can get a little bit more off of the bottom over there. Just to kind of neaten it up a bit and make sure there's not too much left on here. And then I think we're going to be done. I'll give it a torch. And see the paint's not moving fast anymore. It's moving nice and slow. It's moving at all. <laughs> yeah. Not really moving much anymore. Okay, so that's good. That means we're we're done. So I'm gonna wipe my hands off and then we're gonna torch it, and uh, we'll see where we are. I do actually have a little more paint. If there's a part I don't like, I could try another pass with the blower. But the only part that I don't really like is right in here. I don't like that kind of greenish color, and I don't like this much concentrated Payne's gray. But I don't know if I wanna. Take the chance in messing up the parts that I do like because I really like this a lot and I love this like this section right here is just beautiful I think we're gonna leave it I don't know what do you think should I blow this part out I could probably just put a line right here and blow that way should I try it yeah I think that might work I'm gonna put a little bit of white down first
Okay, so that's really fun. You see that lacing in there? Wow. It's gorgeous. I love this. All right, let's torch this. Let me wipe my hands off. I really like that. Okay. this I really love that part like this a lot of the color that it moved down a really pretty pale blue oh, gorgeous cells wow beautiful stuff so that was really fun and uh, you know go big or go home <laughs> you're gonna have to get a shot of the table with all the splatter for you guys but this is awesome so uh, you know this is cool and I encourage you guys, reach out, try new techniques. Try stuff that, that mesmerizes you and fascinates you and you think you can't do it because I bet you probably can. So, you know, this was cool. I think we should call this, like, the gardener's pour or something because <laughs> it's a leaf blower. <laughs> anyway, this was really fun. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and indulging me in my experiments and our craziness. So, this was really fun. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is a few days later. You guys, this one was so much fun. <laughs> it really was a great time. And I really see the appeal of a Dutch pour. That was a lot of fun watching the paint move that way and the colors blend and everything sort of spreading out and shifting. Not to mention the cells. Tons and tons of gorgeous cells in here. It's really, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Beautiful stuff with the dioxazine purple and the Prussian blue. Or no, sorry, the phthalo blue from Liquitex Basics. A little bit of Payne's gray here and there. Some of that iridescent pearl and the 24 karat gold. Just really, really pretty stuff. I love how it like fans out like that and just spreads and you see that beautiful lacing right in there is so cool. A lot of depth. I love this corner down here with this gold. It's so pretty. It's very wild and free. Gorgeous. So this was a lot of fun using the leaf blower. I really enjoyed it. And I figured out a few things. Definitely want to play with that a little bit more. I think it's awesome, like a blow dryer, except without the heat, which is pretty cool. Because I always have issues with heat and paint setting up. So anything I can use that doesn't imply more heat is awesome. But this turned out really cool. I love how that permanent violet went magenta again. <laughs> But it's very pretty. It's a nice soft shade. It's not overpowering and in your face. And I love how it mixed over there. And you see the violet and the doxazine purple with that blue background. I love this part in here. Very cloudy looking. Really cool stuff. But this part right in here this is my favorite part. I love that. Gorgeous cells. Very happy. Very groovy, as HOA said. <laughs> so we're going to call this one Feeling Groovy. <laughs> that old Simon and Garfunkel song was awesome. I really like this piece. So this was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it. I, you know, another technique, another tool to put in your toolbox. And uh, it was a good experience for me. I really enjoyed this. So we might be seeing some more like this or similar, or experimenting more with the leaf blower and see what I can make it do, which is something I always enjoy trying. So this was fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and you know, spending your time with us. We really do appreciate you. And I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>